What's good, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy. We back here with another four piece reaction for y'all. And hey, y'all already know we just gonna go straight into it. No ifs, ands, buffs, or coconuts. First one we got is Game Boy Jones featuring has take a chainsaw man rap. Rev it up. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there and such. And without further ado, let's end the video. Been a while since we've heard from Hashtag. Or, let me not say in a while. It's just that, in the grand scheme of things and such, been a while since Hashtag keep being on the scene and such. That's what I'm saying. I'm reacting. Close the door. Where's my son going? I'm reacting, mommy. Close the door. Sorry, y'all. Y'all already know. My mom, she... Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I'm good. I'm still recording, but... Yeah. Look. Y'all cannot tell me at this point it's annoying. I don't care what anybody say. I don't care how much y'all want to try to defend her and such. At this point, it's getting annoying. First of all, I wanted to say this before she interrupted me. Every time with Game Boy Jones, just when you thought that this nigga can't do something different, he does shit like this. Like, nigga added in a freaking Scar Lord sample or so, like an ad lib or whatnot. Like, what the hell? You suck is getting played and afraid Never finesse my ways of getting paid Any day I can be living good Sipping lemonade with a couple of bad bitches That want to give me brain Like the gun devil Now they want a piece of me Not to make them feel like Like the gun devil Now they want a piece Hold up, what he said? That want to give me brain Like the gun devil Now they want a piece of me Not to make them feel like Putting all your on my frequency Jam frequency Like the Music and such frequency jam. Is the fact that he got a freaking light. Scar Lord, like at least an ad lib or a sample or whatnot. Who you know in Nerdcore can do something like that? Get a freaking ad lib from like a artist that you see from like the mainstream side, you can say, right? And put it in a song like this. That's fire to me. What you said? I went from the gutter to a race. Shout out to Funk Flex. Mm. That to me, I never think I could hear Hastic go in crazy like this and shit. He's normally like the auto smooth, auto tune talking nigga and such. Like this, and this is what he's saying. Why, like, 
with nerdcore you get different versatility in artists because you don't hear them be saying this in not saying the same old shit you don't hear them staying the same old lane or saying the same old like rap style or vocal style and such you hear different from them and such and to be honest i kind of like screaming one more screaming game boy and screaming has to take a little bit more <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Don't give me a reason to cock it and let it blow. Pause. Pause, Game Boy. Hey, it's like this. Game Boy has some bars where you just gotta say pause on it. Goddamn, nigga. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Game Boy Man, keep on doing the doing and has to be more keep on be more up in the anime rap scene, man. We missed you. But either way we now with DCA Deku rap song one for all. Featuring Aaron Errol Allen again. One thing I gotta say with Dizzy 8, a lot of people, it's like this with this whole Jamar thing that happened and such, even though it's done and such, but I'm just, I just gotta say. With Jam with the with Dizzy Eight, a lot, a lot of people have said it's like this. One critique people always say about Dizzy Eight, just one little critique, is that when it comes to communication, like for whenever it's getting a song and such, right? Now let's face the facts. That's all artists. That's gonna be all artists is gonna be that nerdcore, mainstream, whatever. Cause when you're busy in such, right? You tend to. You tend to sometimes forget certain things what you're supposed to do. Like if one minute they say that they're doing a song, right? And it's and they need it in two and in two weeks advance, they tell you, Hey bro, can you hit help me up with a feature and such? Hit me up with a verse, right? And they and they tell you the deadline is Monday when the song comes out Friday, right? Sometimes and when you're busy with other people's song or with yours and such, and then you gotta do that feature and such, something nine times out of ten, you're not gonna be able to get it in time. So I understand it in such from Jamar's point of view, but what I'm saying is, nigga, you can't be even like I said, even though this whole that whole thing was smash for what demolishing such squashing all, all in, it's probably is probably isn't but regardless right all i'm saying is at the end of the day if you say you can do it you can't if you say you can't you can't that's how i view it but yeah let's get into this just have to do that basically with Deku he used to up let's face it this nigga won't go up for one ten minutes without crying for help or so but now well then again some he does it little time here and there but 
let's face it now with that full Karen and such nigga who gonna stop now what can you talk about that's what I'm saying One thing I gotta say, right? That school touched on earlier. That with a lot of a lot of nerdcore artists and a lot of nerdcore music, these are the ones you gotta like. Cause if you wanna play, look, like all I'm saying is right with me and kind of way with school, right? But here's the difference to me personally, right? At the end of the day, right? Even if it's about an art, even if you're doing, even if you throw in the anime reference here and there, I mean, does it really even matter? At the end of the day, it's the artist who's doing the song. It's not the actual character, so. But one thing is for sure. These are the type of nerdcore songs I like where even though it tells you the aspect from the anime character it could very much well be telling them talking about their self as well so i know that you back me so when the enemy start attacking i can't run away nah you creeping up on me right now got to give it to my god they holding me down i never stay down for the count and me screaming out thing is right i gotta say this with dizzy eight he know i don't know how he always does this like he always finds a way how to put on put people on such he did it with mix he did it with he he probably does he did it to tomorrow all the time i'm just saying right he did it with mix he did it with gino he's doing it with freaking Errol, as you see now and such, is like this with Dizzy. He find he always finds a way how to always finds the right artist for certain songs and such. No matter if it's in the nerdcore or it's the people who he's who, in a way, he it don't matter if it's nerdcore or song or not. They just deal with the music first, and then the subject of the song really comes into it. And with Dizzy, he always knows how to play it out very well. And plus with him, he, like Screwface calls him, he is the hit maker of Nerdcore. Because trust me, some of his songs and such, whether it's in like a battle rap form or or a lovey, lovey dovey song or so, or even just for hip hop, hip hop, right? Let's face it. If these, because basically it's like this, with them, with them songs, they're like hits. For shit sure. And 
Bezier, he brings it basically it's like this but this the idea. he brings like the total package of everything if you want rap like rap rap he can do that if you want the singing he can do that and if you just want like an automatic like hits and such he can do that any one of those three you want from this day, trust me he can be able to do that and combine two of the two of the three whether it be the rap with the with the whether it be the rap with the singing or the or the rap with the bat or with the rap with the hit making, trust me, Dizzy he will find a way how to do them and make sure it's the music first before and then the subject of it later on. Really? <laughs> Man, nigga, really gonna put out his Twitch? Eh, I don't blame him. I will do that too. But hey, shout out to Errol Allen. Keep on do and Dizzy, you keep on doing things. Now we got McGuire with that just shellac. I'm gonna just say shellac, cause that's I'm as I don't care. A shellac song. Paycheck Maguire Dream SMP original song. Ooh. First of all, you already know with the vocals, fire as always. And second of all, I just love it when he just dips into different types of beats and such and start gets to doing his do doing his thing. Cause nine times out of ten, tell me you wouldn't want to play a song. Tell me you wouldn't want to play a certain song from his, no matter what it is, right? For me, right? I'm sorry. Two of his favorite songs to me, right, is the Geno's one with the broken pieces and Ballin'. He's, he probably has other ones that are fired too. I haven't heard them yet. But all I'm just saying, nigga, them two songs just makes you want to dance, especially the Ballin' one. The broken pieces one too, don't get me twisted, but that's like for like a New, new Orleans type of vibe and such, right? Where you just want to... Mm -hmm, Mm -hmm. You got me out of my head Like that, right? But with balling, that sticks to me That's like a hip-hop one Cause I'm falling down my head And she calling And plus with Wolf Boy on that Yo, I'm sorry That would have to be one of my favorite Or not if one of The favorite song of Maguire for me I don't care But hey, either way the fact that he always doing certain things like that, always try to make his voice be more different and such, in different beats and different styles, it just fired to me. Especially in this one. Need another renaissance man. Got that. For the paycheck, 
No pun intended. Nice look. The fire, yeah, I cook them today. Want them to whisper, but then all they do is run from me. Why they taking all of the fun from me? After taking credit when it's done from me. I guess I'm really not your favorite. I buy my things so I can bring them. For the paycheck, then, then, I guess I'm really not your favorite. Oh, yeah, it's like this. I may be a black nigga, but let's face the f I may be a black Caribbean Jamaican, black Caribbean Jamaican, whatever. But let's face it, Maguire, I gotta say. Let me shut up. I don't want to bring race into this. The point is, like, you cannot tell me. I don't care if you're young or old. When you hear Maguire, you cannot tell me that you don't just want to vibe out to him, dance. Like, come on. Like I said, the balling song that he did with Wolf Boy and such, fire. One of my favorite. I'm a, and I'm going to keep on talking it until one another songs another song of his kind of might replace it this one in a way is almost there right it's there it's almost just almost it's fire it got that little and like i was talking about caribbean it got that little caribbean vibe got that little the sauce like you want to do this dance and such right but i'm just saying that balling one makes you just want to feel sauce just want to say i'm stunting on y'all so yeah for the paycheck I guess I'm really not your favorite I buy my things so I can break them Oh, I don't need no advice But I'll be needing a shrine I guess I'm in it for the You're gonna put in a freaking Minecraft sound, not a second. But either way, finally, now to end up this full piece reaction, we got a Shanks rap boss rustage featuring PFV. PFV, let's get it. One piece. No, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. One thing we're not gonna do, first of all, first of all, what we're not gonna do is put that, that little, there we go. First of all, we're gonna put that bitch at least 1080p. We're gonna put it at 1080p. Like we're talking about. We're gonna show us some respect around here. That's for shit short. Alright? We ain't gonna do none of this 480p. Let's get. Yeah, they calling me the boss and they love me. Yeah, pull up in stun and leave in one piece. Sword up on my hip, I'm about to cut free. Where you're pie and ain't nobody else about. Yeah, they calling me the boss and they love me The whole of me stop and leave me one piece Got a sword on my hip, but I'm covering Hell, I ain't nobody else above me 
somebody greater than me, I'd like to meet him. Yeah. Only dead beat, cause that's the way that I leave him. They sure do talk a lot of. Only dead beat, cause that's the way how I leave him. <clears throat> dead beat, like a dead beat dad, cause they always leave the kids. But basically, with Shanks leaving y'all dead beat, saying, like, nigga, that's the only way I leave y'all, y'all ain't gon' Y'all ain't trying. Mm. Alright. One thing I got to say with Shanks, he's a savage ass nigga. Even though he hasn't been in it a lot, gotta say, he's a. Just from when Connor was talking in that, basically from that whole cipher, right? That Yonko cipher where Connor said, 100, 100 million love me and such, I ain't even done, Jack. Stands to the point, even though a lot of people might love Shanks, let's face it, he's barely, he barely was in the show. He was talked about a lot, but not like physically in it, but either way, he's savage. Anybody greater than me, I'd like to meet him. Only dead beat, cause that's the way that I leave him. They sure do talk a lot of words, but have no purpose for speaking. So now you wanna challenge Shanks, you better give me a reason. Cause I got three scars, better keep calm, baby sweetheart. We are leaving sweet, coming on with senoritas. Charging me for battery when they just need a recharge. Where I give exposure to their innards like it's freelance. They can't gamble with the one armed bandit. My arms are barren, connected like they not on band with the car red handed. I step into the scene, of course, it's structural damage. They all like Absalom to me, I make these pussies. These vanish the sorts of language they've never spoken advantage of Beckman's open I'm snapping the necks like Boa the gas and the like heavy smokers I damage the surface until the language like melanoma your men are jokers black and white I'm red all over black or white I'm red all over hey first of all you ain't funny just come in here rustage and start putting on Mr. Rustino the big boss big Rustino in this cuz nigga went it's like this, and we go, and a lot of reactors are gonna keep on saying it, especially like with, especially like with Schoolface John, Schwabity, and probably Game Boy, and basically who reacts right to Nerdcore. I'm just gonna tell you. From the all I gotta say is this: with Rustage from how he started, right, from like two years ago, three years ago, right. And I'm saying when I said started, started, I mean like how he started rapping and such, right? <laughs> you get a sense that at the start, right? From like two years ago, like I said, right? You didn't hear that. Like, you can hear like he had, he always still had the rapping. Don't get it twisted. That's one thing we're not going to disrespect. That's one thing we're not going to say that's bad about him is his rapping. Because trust me, the nigga can rap. That's for shit sure. But one thing is for sure, not only his rapping has been advancing more and more, but you hear more of the confidence every single time in his songs. Like, come on now. I step into the scene, of course, it's structural damage. They all like Absalom to me. I make these pussies vanish. The sorts of language they've never spoken advantage. Your Beckman's open, I'm snapping the necks like Boa. The gas and the like heavy smokers. I damage the surface until the language like melanoma. Your men are jokers, black and white, I'm red all over. Yeah, they're calling me the boss and they love me. Put a hole up in your stomach, leave it one piece. Sort up on my hip, I'm about to cut free. When you're paying, ain't nobody else above me. Yeah, they're calling me the boss and they love me. They're coming at me with no prior knowledge When I walk up then they sleep in like a night or bop it Connect this hockey to your systems like it's fiber optic Send a message to the gore I I'm shorting in the time and office I'm the topic I'll be top and listen you're still unimportant Lining pockets get into the cake like I'm Nigella Laws are quite Into the cake like I'm And the thing is what Rustage too right Lately well, let me say not lately. He always finds a way how to put put in like little references that could either be from his like UK or so, but some history things where Nick this and this will be talking about. Sometimes you gotta get. Just leave this in. Thank you.
then she brought me food. You don't think I'm going to get screwed? Look, at, at the end of the day, right? I don't care. I'm still going to finish this reaction, but all I got to say is, look, at the end of the day, right? Even though I've talked about it a lot, it's still my mom. And plus, it's Jamaican curry chicken and rice. What is he talking about? But like I'm saying, right? With Rustage, he always, he always is going to put in a reference where it's either from his youth, either from where he lives, like from his hometown of the UK, or like in history, or some sort of history. Because rest assured, nine times out of ten, some of the bars that he pulled in, you had to, like I said before, you would have to be very wide awake in class, in history class, to get some of the bars that he sent. So, that's all I so me, I will coming at me with no prior knowledge. When I walk up, then they sleep in like a night or it. Connect this hockey to your systems like it's fiber optic. Send a message to the gore. Say I'm shorting in the time and off it's on the topic. I'll be top and listen, you're still unimportant. Line in pockets, get into the kick like I'm Nigella Laws are quite a novice. Looking like a villain with your head proportion sizes. Horror should be asking me hog which of us would make a better swordsman. Who's keep on dropping so bloody, but I refuse to change rules. Come and knocking on lucky so they gone through the day. The way I keep on dropping like buggy, I'm known to mutilate. They hide behind a flight the way they hide behind. They know to hide behind a f what you said? A flag? Like buggy, I'm known to mutilate. They hide behind a flag. They hide behind a flag. The way they hide behind a use the way they hide behind a username. Mm. Damn. The name I'm a native superstar Udo with the chains of boss I don't care about who you are I shut them up like who say why They don't see the writing Cause this golden age is to the stop Trained by pirate kings So they gon' know this man is who's in charge Yeah, they calling me the boss And they love me Put a hold up in stomach And leave it one piece Sort up on my head I'm about to cut free Where you're paying Ain't nobody else above me Yeah, they calling me the boss And they love me Hold up in stomach And leave it one piece Ooh. Ah, hell no, you're not just gonna put a saxophone in there. You hear that saxophone? Nah, you ain't you ain't slick. And I don't mean the nerdcore rapper slick. I mean you ain't slick when you're doing that in. You see what we're talking about? Even in his production, right? I be wondering. Like for whenever it's beat, for whenever it's music, who be doing his beats? And nine times out of ten, it's mostly be him. Like, let me see in this product. Like, did he do this one? Because it has, it has to be. Because let me see. Instrumental, yeah, him. Instrumental production, rusty. So yeah, nine times out of ten, I don't be knowing if it's him who does it or. You already brought me my food. You already brought me my phone, right? Yeah, then I come to you already. Yes. You know, let me just share with this one. What's up, Miss Sam? You didn't go now. Everybody, I jumped down with you today. Let's go. Yeah, everybody, I jumped down with you. Down, mom, go. We're reacting. I'm going down. Go. Same. But like I'm saying. It just be, I'm just saying, even in his productions, it be getting a lot more better and better and better. The saxophone. Damn. Damn. Four million? Well, you know, not four million, four billion. Four billion bears? Damn, that's a big ass bounty on you. Imagine you was that. Imagine that kind of bounty was on you. This saxophone though. Hey, shout out to everybody that was on this man. Y'all went dummy. Y'all went crazy as hell. Shout, shout out to Game Boy. Shout out to Dizzy. Shout out to Maguire. Shout out to Rustage. Hey, all of y'all went dumb crazy and said dumb crazy on this side. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. And 
I already know. Sorry about my mom and all. But yeah, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. There you go.